So e-health is just now having an impact uh, because there's an ecosystem in place. There's um, well-established, low-cost devices, these wearable devices, low-cost wireless medical devices. Five years ago, that wasn't the case. Uh, five years ago, there wasn't uh, low-cost MDAM data plans. It's all these pieces coming together that drives down the cost, improves the scalability, and in doing that, has led to a widespread adoption of mHealth. Five years ago, telehealth was around, but it was specialized, proprietary, and very expensive for people to implement. Now it's low cost and scalable, and it's something that has a big impact on healthcare costs, and that's why we're focused on it. Connected Health is different from other solutions in that we've built our system based on uh, standard hardware. Uh, standard uh, blood pressure, glucose monitors, uh, pulse oximeters, all those measurement devices are non-proprietary. Uh, th the data standards that we use um, are non-proprietary, and we use standard Android phones uh, and devices. This drives down the cost. Lower cost means more people can use it. The outcome on patient outcomes uh, has been significant, uh, and there's lots of different outcomes people worry about. Uh, one outcome is cost, uh, return on investment. What we do is dramatically reduce the cost of health care. And we do that by keeping healthy people out of the hospital. Uh, so one measure is return on investment. How much money do health care groups save by adopting our e-health solution? And the return is large simply because we keep healthy people out of the hospital and it's expensive to go to the hospital. Another um, measure is efficacy. I mean, what is the outcome for the patient? And the results have been tremendous. Patients that have more information, real-time information, have better results. And they respond to that information. They change their behavior. So efficacy is another metric that is greatly improved. And the third one that's really important relates to costs and, and relates to uh, outcomes is readmittance rates. A fundamental problem in the U.S. healthcare system has been that readmittance rates are high. Healthy people go back to the hospital needlessly uh, because their blood pressure is high and they're concerned or whatever. Our system allows healthcare groups uh, to manage that um, by intervening and advising patients so they don't go to the hospital needlessly. So a big metric is the reduction of readmittance rates. That translates to lower cost. Lower cost healthcare is what this is all about uh, in terms of uh, the kinds of systems that are being rolled out. Question of how does this relate to the, the bigger play of all kinds of different devices? And those devices being various sensors, wearable sensors, medical devices, fitness devices. There's a lot of this going on. Uh, for us, these devices are only interesting if the information is connected and shared uh, with healthcare providers and with other consumers. And so that connectivity is the core thing. That's what we do. Uh, we work with all kinds of different devices. It doesn't matter whether they're fitness devices or scales or blood pressure, healthcare devices, glucose meters, all of these devices. Uh, these kinds of devices, the data comes off of those into our cloud and into the caregivers uh, that use that data. That can, those caregivers can be doctors. Those caregivers can be coaches, fitness coaches, and the data could be uh, fitness-related data.